Good morning. Uh, so today will be your uh, plate or your activity will be your plate number eight, which is a two point perspective. So based on my instruction, uh, which I'll be uploading this in uh, canvas just follow it accordingly so let me explain uh, one by one on how you do your two-point perspective and by the way uh, two-point perspective is also a three-dimensional drawing similar to your uh, isometric but uh, isometric is a parallel projection while perspective has its we call it a uh, focal point or uh, perspective is considered as a realistic view uh, in presentation okay so let me let me explain uh, one by one on how you do your plate number eight I have prepared an instruction for you so this is uh, basically uh, intended for your subject so I made some videos but this is basically for your section so your deadline is indicated there so uh, my instruction follows uh, number one uh, is the same you do your borderline title block and number two locate the center point where always I required you to start from that point and then number three position the drawing according to the references indicated so uh, based on that drawing I have indicated certain measurements or distances for you to locate your drawing so all the dimensions are outside which means uh, in my instruction I indicated it as I mean that you don't uh, need to include that uh, where is I, I, I uh, mentioned that do not uh, here do not include dimensions found outside the borderline okay so just take note on that so let me proceed with the other or the rest of the instruction using the same object shape for your plate number four so if you remember your plate number four which uh, you still have it uh, you can refer it from there all the dimensions are there and uh, if not then I also indicated it here okay so the dimensions are still here so compare to your plate number four which is this one okay so based on these dimensions I also adapt it here so that uh, at least you can compare the output of your perspective view than or against your isometric view so isometric view is a parallel projection using 30 degrees by 30 degrees on both sides while as I already mentioned perspective drawing has this focal point which is we call it vanishing point left and right wherein your lines will be projected to that direction okay So, uh, every part of uh, your perspective is considered, I mean, uh, you need to observe those parts. So, let me go back to that instruction. So, your top view. Sorry, I'm not feeling well. Uh, your top view will be positioned according to the degrees here that I indicated 60 degrees and 30 degrees and like your orthographic drawing you draw your top view here on top of your front view so in perspective drawing by projection you will use your top view as a guide on how you position your perspective drawing so instead of measuring because measurement is no longer applicable in perspective drawing you can do the measurement but you have to project it so like your plan here I 
specifically mentioned here that you have to use 60 de degrees and 30 degrees and how to do that so your 60 degrees will be here and your 30 degrees will be here so front view of your top view is here and the right side view is here so that's how you position measurement of this you get it from your plate number four all right so that's how you consider your uh, starting part of your perspective using your top view and then next instruction through the front view and right side view as indicated so I already positioned here so you have an option uh, dimension is not required it's but it's optional if you want to make or look your drawing good you can indicate the, the dimensions but you can do it in pencil only because the most important part of your drawing for today for this plate is this one on how you project correctly those lines that intersect each other and by projection so but the shape here or your object you just do it in ink okay at least uh, it it will be presented well and also your uh, top view do it in ink but all the projections are in pencil including all these names or indicate indications part of your perspective so you just use ink to label this one all of this left vanishing point horizon line right vanishing point picture plane and you have here ground line and station point so you can use ink for that okay so back to the instruction perspective drawing so there are different types of I mean par different parts of doing perspective so you have to consider all these number one picture plane station point ground line vanishing points left and right horizon line so what are those I'll go back to the perspective drawing so one is one is picture plane picture plane is this one so as you can see if what is the use of the picture plane we use that to consider the projection of your top view to your station point I will explain the station point later after the picture plane so you notice that the picture plane line okay when your projection lines from your top view touches this picture plane I made some projection which is vertical lines pointing downward so which indicate on what you projected like this corner here you projected this corner to your station point which is this one when it touches the picture plane I projected a line so that's why I came up with this corner of your object so take note instead of projecting this directly here which is this one in your isometric view it's it's some some somewhat uh, like somewhere around here because isometric view all the distances there are the true length or true size like this one if you measure this one whatever is the measurement in your front view or three views here it will be the same while in perspective this line this this length rather is no longer the same length as this one which is uh, where it, where can I get the dimension of that 20 30 30 this is 60 so this one if you measure this one it's no longer 60 it's because as you can see here I projected that corner from from this corner to the station point and then this one 
I projected it to station point and when it touches the picture plane so that's the use of the picture plane so projection here and then another one projection here so those lines goes down so it becomes here and this line that I projected this corner when it goes down so it touches here okay so this is the length of that 60 when you measure correct uh, the true length 60 now becomes like this okay so perspective is not a drawing wherein you get the true measurement so it's it's a projection because perspective is uh, the way it appears it is based on your eyesight okay so let us finish part of the st the perspective station point is the location of the viewer or distance of the viewer from the object so where is that this one so imagine that your object when you are looking on top this is your object and you are standing here looking to that object so that's the station point where the viewer eye is located so there is a certain distance from your object to the station point and the theory of that is the nearer your station point to your object the bigger your perspective is the farther this one to your object the smaller your perspective is so that's the theory when you make you want to make it this bigger remove this station point near to the object okay that's the use of the station point and then ground line ground line of course is obviously like you have your front view and right side view here the portion where your views set or setting okay that's the ground line so like a, a house for example you're designing a house so where your ground is your house will set on that ground so that's how you consider so here uh, when it comes to the perspective view already ground line why is it ground line is here and it's like your perspective is floating so because you are uh, viewing your object not like you are projecting it or you're doing the side views or front view so the what should I say the ground line only use as basis where you start measuring your object or where your object set okay so that's the use of your ground line and then vanishing points you have left and right so where is that uh, here I have uh, prepared you your vanishing points to follow okay uh, there is a certain requirements on how to locate this one uh, here uh, you need to project those lines first um, you have position or you position your plan accordingly to the angle 60 here and 30 here so in order to locate your vanishing points I'll explain this now before I forget you use your station point and then draw a parallel lines to your uh, top view so where which is this line this is a 60 degrees line and this is the 30 degrees line and when it touches your picture plane which is this is the basis of the measurements projection so mark that point intersection of your projected 30 degrees line to your picture plane mark that line and then this line is projecting upward which I make your 
vanishing point. Why is your vanishing point here and not here? Uh, because I will explain this later. The, the, your horizon line is here. So it should be the vanishing point should be in the horizon line found in or located in the horizon line not in the picture plane unless your picture plane is the same line as this one so let's say if you want to make this as your horizon line you can label this as picture plane and horizon line but this time our horizon line is higher than our object so your vanishing point should be there Okay, that's for your left vanishing point. For your right vanishing point, the same process. Uh, project a line parallel to your top view, which is 60 degrees. Then when it touches your picture plane, mark that point, and then project it upward or draw a vertical line. And then that's your vanishing point. So notice that all the lines in your perspective because you get your height from here so those are the markings here here and here all your projection will be towards this vanishing point so compare it to your isometric view all the lines on or in a direction to the left are all done in 30 degrees and all lines projecting or with the, in the direction of right to the right i mean is all parallel using 30 degrees while your perspective all the lines to uh, going towards left are not parallel anymore instead it goes to this line so take note on that so your projection here of your height goes to that point and then when it touches here so meaning your true height here which is how much is that 20 20 this 40 when it reaches here this is no longer 20 because your projected lines are pointing towards this left vanishing point so becomes it becomes shorter that's why as, as uh, i mentioned already that perspective is uh a drawing wherein uh, it is like a real view already while your isometric view it's it's a parallel projection so perspective is more uh, realistic than isometric all right so that's how you locate your vanishing points and next one is your horizon line so this is the last part horizon line this is the one which I mentioned mention that it is above our object. So there are three types of considering the horizon lines. In my instruction here, I illustrated based on your object. So this is similar to your uh, plate number eight. So our horizon line is higher or above than the height of our object so this is called an aerial view or some uh, they call it bird's eye view because the eye level is higher than the object so here you can see three parts of your object meaning three dimensions so your front view here it's indicate i indicated it with a uh, light gray, uh, green color and your right side view here I indicated it with yellow and then your top is I use uh, maroon so that's how bird's eye view is being created okay then uh, man's eye view or normal view you locate your horizon line or eye level somewhere uh, in between the height of your object so here partly because this is lower you can see part of uh, your object top part of your object here by while the higher one higher than your horizon line or eye level obviously you cannot see it so visible parts are 
front view green and then yellow is your right side view and then for the worm's eye it's an inverted view of your uh, bird's eye view or aerial so you, here you can see the bottom <coughs> bottom part of your object and still you can see the front view and right side view partly okay so those are the parts of uh, your perspective so all you need to do is just follow my instructions my written instructions here in order for you to complete this drawing okay so I think I explained everything for you to do so just follow and uh, the lines are indicated so I think uh, everything I already mentioned but if you have any other concerns which I forget to mention then uh, just send me a message or drop down a message on our chat box or group chat in order for other also to be uh, informed okay that's that's all for now so once you access this file and also the file that I uploaded in canvas you can search your plate number 8 Okay, thank you.